If you're here, you might be wondering if baking soda contains aluminum. Maybe you saw some boxes in the store that said aluminum free and others didn't, or maybe you were reading something online that mentioned it. Either way, I'm here to clear some things up for you. First of all, baking soda doesn't contain any aluminum at all. Even um, any brand, no matter where you get it from, Arm & Hammer, um, cheap Walmart brands, expensive ones, none of them contain aluminum. The only ingredient in baking soda is sodium bicarbonate. So here is a Walmart baking soda box. Sodium bicarbonate is the only ingredient. Um, here is a Trader Joe's can. Same thing, ingredient, sodium bicarbonate. So um, you might be wondering then, if baking soda doesn't contain aluminum, why do some baking soda uh, labels say aluminum free. Well, the confusion comes with its cousin, baking powder. So baking powder, um, first of all, both products, baking soda and baking powder, are used as leavening agents in baking. Um, the reason that we even have two different types of leavening agents, baking powder and baking soda, is because baking soda is activated almost immediately. So once baking soda comes into contact with the acid in your recipes like uh, yogurt or uh, buttermilk, it activates and CO2 bubbles are formed that help the um, ingredients leaven or rise. So. The reason why baking powder is important is because sometimes you don't want your recipes to rise until they're in the oven. The reason the aluminum ingredient is added is so that it gives that extra leavening action during the heating phase. So it's not activated in your recipe until your baked good goes into the oven and then it's activated and the product starts to rise. Now, this baking powder, which comes from Trader Joe's, is aluminum free. You can see right here on the label it says aluminum free. And this product just has monocalcium phosphate, sodium bicarbonate, and also cornstarch. And cornstarch is just added in there so that the ingredients don't activate on their own because you have two different ingredients that activate together when combined with a wet ingredient, so water or any kind of a liquid. So <clears throat> the cornstarch is added so that any water or moisture from the ambient air when it's pulled into the product, it doesn't activate prior to you using the, the product. So hopefully that helps clear up that there is no aluminum in baking soda, but there can be aluminum in baking powder. So it's important for you to look for aluminum-free baking powder while baking soda, you have nothing to worry about. Now, why is that important for our customers? Why do we write a blog on it? Well, other than just, um, educating people on you know the common question uh, about baking soda containing aluminum. A lot of people are looking for aluminum free deodorant and are confused when a deodorant contains baking soda. So uh, we do have a deodorant, it's a magnesium based deodorant so it doesn't contain baking soda or baking powder. It's definitely aluminum free. Um, but I just wanted to uh, give you some solace knowing that if you are looking for an aluminum free deodorant and your deodorant has baking soda in it, it doesn't have aluminum. So uh, baking powder is really the only ingredient that you have to worry about aluminum for. And then if you want a deodorant that is free of aluminum and baking soda, some people have a reaction, a skin reaction to baking soda. It is a rather harsh uh, ingredient for the skin and so it can cause irritation or even uh, raw skin. So if you are looking for something that is baking soda free, aluminum free, um, we do have a deodorant for that that we'll link below, but I just wanted to clear up that for you. Hope that helps.